Hello and welcome back to the Goons of Fate, the Hand of Fate 2 LP. I am Circle Master and joining me in the Discord today we have Mateo360. Hello. And Tallow. Hello. And I have a new controller, which will hopefully not drop inputs. The symbol of victory over oppression, control and will. Properties I understand well, and you will learn. Ah, oh, yes, the chariot. <laughs> you say that like there's something wrong with the chariot. What was that? I mean, have you tried to fight Chie? I don't know what that means. Persona 4. A bounty! That goes never play Persona I've, I've not 4. Played, I've not played any Persona game. Yeah, this is against Corrupted. That's what I want. And that's undead. That's not what I want. Just because you get it why? doesn't mean the audience will. So, are you ever going to do any of the companion side quests? When I get a companion that I care about, which, spoiler alert, might be happening soon. Do I know what these are yet? No. But I'm going to be fighting a lot of corrupted, so I want a uh, heavy weapon, so we're going to take the warrior's axe along with some extra food. Because, like almost every quest here, you need a lot of food. Right from the Empire. It even touches me. I think it's never take food. Right, personally. These are the seals that Callus has attempted and failed. And I'm doing something silly. Sir Malafowl. Sir Bad Bird. So, basically, there's a plague in the city, and they've decided to just close up the walls and let all the peasants die of the plague in order to prevent it from spreading. And one person in the Empire is not happy with this and asks us to uh, try to rescue some citizens. But what if I don't want to? Well, then you won't get the gold token because the gold token requires saving all 60 citizens. It's an at, not a pound. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes! And here we see the best companion. Also, oh, hi, Kilza. So, to the southwest, if we can clear a path through the gatehouse, we can get the citizens out without too much resistance. Uh, so, we need to defeat a certain number of corrupted in order to unlock that encounter. Um, plagues are bad. That's that's pretty much it. Save people, kill evil things. Also, the Empire is kind of evil. What a shock. But the more citizens we save, the more campfire options we get. And once again... We can't see the entire map to start. We have to uh, carve our way through. One unique thing about this place, however, is casting encounters on face up. not take up. too long. The city falls around you. Yep, so anything that reveals encounters is wasted. Yep. Well, sucks to be you. So right now, all we can do in camp is cook food because we haven't saved anybody let's just pick everywhere a direction to go touches and everywhere bears its stains oh look we just found some people congratulations you can now buy some food and we can go some extra places what do we got we've got more city streets and a bitter winter 
Let's see if we can get a shard. Uh, you're going to want to be careful with this map. <laughs> Oh, we've got a tie. Mateo, you want to break the tie? Yeah, I was working on it. I suspect this is going to go poorly for reasons that will become clear. Well, hey, if we insta-fail, that just means we can restart in the same video. True. But that's not what I'm referring to. Oh no, we, we got shard janked. We didn't even unlock the shard. You have to find that. Oh, I thought that got placed on the boy, so... No, it got placed in the deck. Yeah, so you're not shit out of luck. With precision, if it is to be effective. Alright, so we found a bunch of bad guys. I'm also going to make sure I have the axe equipped, and I do. Good. It also helps if I hit the vote thing. But yeah, we can ambush them or we can just run away. I don't know why we would run away. But we can pass this precision gambit and the challenges it presents change to just arbitrarily remove some from the board and I messed it up. Oh well. Timing on this is actually quite easy once you know what it is. Yeah, but I was going for the gold one, which is a small target. You, I have a hard time hitting the silver one. It just requires uh. some different patience than you have. So we get to fight all 11 of them, because I failed twice. But the gold target removes two cards, the silver target only removes one. So you need at least one gold in order to clear out the entire encounter. And I mean, come on, they're just... They're pretty basic dudes. It's just nice to not have to deal with these assholes. So far, so good. Except I have to come back over here to do that. Colbjorn somehow went down because he's bad at fighting, which is what he's supposed to be good at. I mean, all the NPCs are kind of bad at fighting Cloud. I can't believe this guy's still up. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, the collector, the collector can take a stupid amount of time. Look at that. 11 enemies. Done clean. Not a single hit on me. If only they had food. So let's see. Oh, we've got a drunken knight and more city streets. But uh, actually, can't I buy food now? I can. Yeah. Not and a lot food of food. Is be... Yeah, but food is stupid cheap in this map. That's true. We do get a discount for saving their lives. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of gold to food. I so I miss when this. Oh, so let's on. get drunk. The shot is do not take damage. I actually really liked these sort of dungeony encounters in Hand of Fate 1, and I'm glad that they're back for Hand of Fate 2. Although yeah, they are much less common. I can think of 
two, maybe three off the top of my head that are not map specific. You know, I, I see food over on the right. I think I want to go right instead. Except there's bear traps. Also, does that even connect? I can't tell. Yes. Kidding me? Yeah, why did you step into the spikes again? Wow, I'm suddenly doing terribly, and it's all your fault, Tello. <laughs> Because you were sassing me. As if that's not a normal mechanic. It's... It's not. What are you talking about? You never sass anybody. Huh. I thought I'm going to wild here long enough then. <laughs> no, you're not. You should come more often. Oh, there's, I bought all the food. Never mind. Yeah, and unfortunately, it does not reset every step like it used to. Oh, that was amazing. When you can yeah! just buy the same food over and over. Or more importantly, buy out the entire equipment deck. How to make any equipment token much less of a pain in the ass. Fight. Yet, they must know their time. So now we have to save peasants. This is what always screws me up, I think, because peasants against the boss monster or mini boss. That never goes well. I don't think these peasants can actually die. They nope. get knocked the fuck out, but not. Last dead. time I tried this map, they could die. I will say that. I don't know, we'll see if I save five or four. That guy was kneeling. I think kneeling is still up. Yeah, yeah it is. They only get placed into the you must be the finisher. Awesome. <laughs> the stench of corruption flows across the cities, tainting everything it touches. So the gatehouse is no longer blocked, but But you still need to go find the other Other citizens, citizens. yep. But we do get uh, a little blessing where we can call on some friendly soldiers to help us out. So let's see what equipment's on offer. Oh, the armor of gluttony. Which I don't have enough fame to get, but uh, I'm, what, four short? I think I'll just buy it. Save yeah! it for later. <laughs> it's kind of the most broken armor in the game by far. <laughs> oh, and we can do some arm wrestling, get some money. Get some money, maybe get progress towards the shard. Get some fame. 
I just don't think it gives you fame. Back to the bones. I hope you have no, I don't think so either. Master. But it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, look, two fame. Look who's wrong, Tallow. It's you. Huh. Yeah, guess I'm wrong. All right, let's see if I can do this this time. Nope, I'm still too early. Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Wow, I'm just gonna do it too early every single time. I think I just caught something right from like, what is it, five or six of the beans going back and forth? At some point, they just line up and movement perfectly and it is super easy. I don't know, last time I did this clean against 11, I bet I can do it clean against 9. Oh, easily. It's just, it's just if you do the gold token, you'd have to fight tiny. What the gold? What? <laughs> There, you feel better? I used the companion ability, and it did me no good because I was on the other side of the map. I mean, it cooled down fast enough that... Yo, you... Show your worth. And now I get the best armor. What is that? Ooh, palace armory. How much gold do I have? Only 18. Not enough. Now 18? Isn't that enough or am I thinking of a different card? I thought it was 10 to get in. to find more food. I wouldn't say it's either oh, 10 or 15. You need 16 fame to get in. I'm too short on fame. Oh, if that happens, then it will actually go back, but they lick. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any other card to give you fame, so... Well... I keep getting told about peasants having food to trade, but they don't actually have food to trade. What are you sacrificing when you stop to help them? Have you asked yourself that? Oh, now there's food to trade. Yeah. I'd recommend buying the one thing, the one cast food. And this is amazing, because for one gold, I get two food. Yeah. And then for three gold, you get four food. Something about that seems a bit off. Yeah, it's not enough food. Yeah. So we've um, mostly cleared this out. I, I think you're right that I'm not going to get any more fame. Yeah. You might get some off the gatehouse, but I doubt it. Even if I do, it's just going to put me on the next map and I'll miss the armory. Not necessarily. You know what, I'm just going to attack. I'm sorry that I put that up for a vote, because turn back does nothing. 
Coming back means you can go explore the city if you didn't do that already. Yeah, but I've fully explored it, so it will do nothing. So now we've got uh, a stick. Ah, yes. And one of my soldiers immediately got caught in the stick. Oh my goodness, my controller worked and it actually let me dodge. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing what having good controllers can do for you. rude just being attacked by an off-screen enemy that was the thing one you know that just warns me of where it is not that it's going to do a thing you yeah know, did I... you not did you not notice the flashing apparently not Seriously. So that wasn't too bad, I got snared twice. So on we go with 21 out of 60 citizens. What is it the towers will watch over? A stream of death and despair? Yep. That That's awesome. The watchtower has showed me one card. And the Empire has decided that they're not just going to wallop the city and let the plague burn out. They're going to actively burn the city. And these are just city street cards, so let's just keep on going. Yep. And then, I guess that explains why some of these cards are just what they are. The, the gold one is right underneath the red one. It's awesome again. It's just a pain in the ass. Well. Sucks to be circle. I have to go for this. Oh, this is better. Bam. Got it. There we go. Suck it. The circle doesn't suck at everything. Just most things. I'll be kind of impressed that you got it there. Kind of really annoyed that I got hit by the one guy. You know, this is the smallest group of enemies, so of course I take damage during this fight. Of course. Smallest 
group of enemies that I didn't even expect. They believe fire will purge this sickness. But the sickness is not in the city. It is in the land itself. It will be purged, but not like this. With every step, corruption reaches further. Well, we don't have eight food to offer these paupers. Ah. So Tala wants to abandon them. I don't know if we're allowed to come back to them or not, but he's being outvoted by trying to just straight up catch them. You are allowed to come back to them. Well, I hope you're good at the station. I am when they ride side by side for that long. In good stead from here. Unfortunately, I think you need a bowl. Well, now we have more options. You're going to lose the rest of your food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I cannot buy more yet. Nope. Yeah, you can take 12 deaths of starving. If there is a finer mind than my own, I've yet to meet it. Yet, I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world. And must suffer the results. So yeah, that was the dealer just straight up admitting that the plague is his fault. That he came back from the dead by tearing a portal between worlds and bad stuff followed after him. Uh, I would say that it's the dealer's fault. Something like that. It's complicated. <laughs> but he at least admits some partial responsibility for it. Yeah, but... What is happening is happening right now. I would personally blame someone else. It's all Kills' fault. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, kills it. it's a good thing. It's your fault that they made a sequel to this video game. You should be proud. Okay. Again, I don't think that's Tim and... I was thinking of the thing when I said it's not Steeler's fault. And that was enough to unlock the Warrior Axe token. We finally murderized enough people. I'm not a weapon. Congratulations! You now have an upgraded weapon for this game. Oh, what do you think of the chances I can land on a food card? Uh, negative five. Regarding its twists. Oh, so close! <laughs> Now it will just take you longer to starve to death. No, I didn't get the food. Yeah, but you got ten, over 10 lights. That means you can take another step. Oh, I found a scouting party and there's nothing for them to scout. Yeah, you can't see that. Damn 
damage will persist unless you can find a meal to relieve. It doesn't help that the Empire people are actively shooting catapults in the city. You know what, I'm just going to take the free silver. That's entirely fair. Bam! Nicely timed. I'm guessing that's you getting the gold? No, it's me flavoring some food because I'm a big fan of Emerald Agassi. <laughs> Can you handle five when I'm getting hit? Oh, uh, last time I couldn't. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like Tolbjorn's thing, is that he will stun, like, some of the enemies, but whoever's not stunned will immediately grab my attention because they're trying to attack me. So I can't even capitalize on the stun. Yeah. I think I prefer the canyon that I'm not in this mission. <laughs> Let's see if we get to pull out that city and try it from the encounter. Oh, I'm just continuing to start. Oh, a merchant. There will always be traders who stayed too long. Unfortunately, that's the only for selling shit. Boo. <laughs> will he sell me? Can yeah, I sell him stuff be. in exchange for gold? No. Or not in exchange for gold, in exchange for food. No. So what is that? Oh, payment due. I wonder if I can get some food out of this card. Goblins now have resources to field their own combatants. Oh. Nope, it's it's bad. This was a bad thing. Yep. So, F up with the garments. But we did a good thing to unlock this card. But no Yeah, I don't think they care. Uh, let's switch to the light weapons. Yeah. I could summon I, in some Empire soldiers to help. Uh, sure. I have a feeling I'm going to starve to death and fail this mission at the end of it all. I'm sure you'll find a great focus before you start to death. Are you kidding me? Yes. What are you swinging at? Why are you locked onto the guy who's a million miles away? Oh god, your buddy Azu and I love them being a person.
So we steal his helmet. Oh, please vote for A. Do you wonder what lies beyond the gates of death? This corruption is but a small part of it. I mean, considering you've been getting screwed out of food so far, yeah. Well, I managed that fight at least. Now let's see how you do with the wheel game. Uh, oh, I see plus seven food right there. Got it. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Let's see what you do. Congratulations! You will not want to look sorry for that, maybe. Well, until I step on the thing that says, oh, you need to give these people aid food for them to come be friendly with you. It's only what I know now. I know who I'm voting for. Whoops. Up. Thank you. They don't need more money, so, uh, I guess we'll get, get the deal or a decent pack. And we got just a straight up fight. Yep. And hopefully I'll win. I'll be disappointed if you somehow die by the eleven light. I'm sure I'll find a way. All of the farmers are kneeling down. Shut up, bye. These assholes can't do finishes. Too. Yeah, well, I kind of have other things to think about at the moment. I did take a hit, and that makes me sad. You didn't die, so... 
That's fine with me. What can I do in camp? Oh, I... Boo. I don't want that. <laughs> hey, I guess want what? You don't have to get it anyway. Uh, yeah, but this I get it for free. <laughs> yeah. It actually... No, wait, I'm reading the wrong numbers. Yeah, it does do more damage. Uh, are these both the same? Yes. I'm sure one of them will get shot through. Patience, do not move too quickly for haste. I'll take the free one. Failure. Oh, I missed it that time. I was a little early. <laughs> oh, well. At least it's only a normal failure. I don't think you can add them back in, but I don't know what you get for the huge failure on that. Uh, depending on which one it is, your companion gets in, or you get in. Turn that the fuck up! Flipping into the walls. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Just don't worry about it. Hey, Haxor. I'm honestly surprised I'm doing this well with the medication that I'm on, honestly. Oh, we found some grateful citizens. Okay, you can buy food. And they've got food, yay. But we've saved all the citizens. Yep. I have to see what the last encounter in the corner is and then fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm still gonna stock up on food though. I mean, you have the armor of I'd be surprised if you did. Oh, we've got more paths. Oh, follow the goblin. We got a token adventure there. Oh! And you revealed enough to the map that probably won't get overwritten by more city Notorious. streets. They lead to naught but trouble. Were it in my hands, I would never deal with them. And you're all voting to take away my life. You have plenty of food. I doubt 15 life will kill you. You say I have plenty of food when 
the map ain't over yet. Is there anything this way? Oh, there's food this way. Like I said, you have plenty of food. A choice. Ah. This is a stupidly small window. And I screwed it up again. Is that food? It is food. Yeah, I should have just gone across there. Oh well. Oh well, you got five extra gold out of it, I guess. Oh, I picked up like four food. What are you talking about? I mean, going the top round instead of just going across. Oh, yeah. If you can. I suppose I'll throw this one up for a vote. I mean, you've seen how it goes now. Do you want to just be done with this? Apparently and not. <laughs> Apparently and nobody wants to be done. You will forever suffer. I won't suffer forever. Someday I'll die. No, someday you'll get the token. If you happen to die first, oh well, I guess you're suffering more. Okay, so that's food. I can't tell what's down here. Uh, not a place I want to go. I'm just going to go straight to the end, because that's where the boxes are, and it's wide open. That's entirely fair. How did I end up with 21 food at this point? <laughs> I went from starving to death. Oh yeah, armor and gluttony. <laughs> like I said, that is the most broken armor in the game. I don't really want to go that way. You know what, that food is not worth it. You know what, that gold is not worth it. This gold is worth it. <laughs> That's the end. The gold, yeah, the gold right by the end is worth it because they're quite, <laughs> I mean, no effort. I will take money for no effort. That's fine. I'm not proud.
This is gonna add like 20 minutes to the episode. Love me! Thanks, by the way. Good luck taking this token from me. Okay, now I'll heal you. <laughs> <laughs> Kills us sticking in with the troll circle route. Let's see what's over here. Or even a route to the exit. Where is the exit? It's to the right. Oh, is this it right here? It is. Camera was working against me the whole way there. You saw it at the start. No, I just mean moving to the right. The cam, the way the camera is angled, you're slightly disadvantaged, as opposed yeah. to going straight or the left. Yeah. But hey, we finally found the goblin. So we can either demand gold, or. Just ask where we are. <laughs> I feel like it should be obvious which one gets token. Hey, we're in Goblin Town. Hooray. Welcome to Goblin Town. It, it's full of goblins. Yeah. It is also, it's also my favorite platinum card in the game. There's also a lone empire soldier who's mysteriously disappeared into the crowd. And we have the same choice again. Well, uh... We already know how we are. So... Well, apparently they want to know, again. That we're still in Goblin Town. Yep. So it's just a man gold. So I know that there's some equipment that I can buy. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's pious robes. <laughs> that would have been helpful. That would have been helpful earlier. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> if only you wanted to look after you picked up the eye. Well, by then I... By the time that was for sale... One, I already had the armor of gluttony, and two, I was no longer starving. So. <laughs> I didn't actually need it at any point that it was available. Endless dark deeds have been done in the name of the Empire. So, there's three city streets that I haven't explored that are going to be things, but without citizens to save. Or we can just fight the boss. If I recall correctly, I think you went through everything that isn't straight city streets to a burning level. There might be a judge of corruption left, but who cares? Oh no, the Empire doesn't want us to escape. Yep, okay, I've got the goodie. Armor and hammer on.
And they're all like, what good's a soldier that won't follow orders? Time to murder the crap out of you. And we can call for more Empire reinforcements against the Empire. We're officially starting the Civil War. Except not really. I mean, to be fair, they're like, that's what I hear, the soldier? Yeah, I wish this was actually starting the Civil War right now. <laughs> So here we have Captain What's-His-Face. Captain Sterling. He's a lot like Captain Cassius, who we have our duels against. I fight for justice, not simply if I'm ordered. If this is yeah. what must be, so be it. Could be thought of drug. Also, I'll be disappointed if you don't use that to power. She ran away way. from me. I'm trying. That's fair. And now she's off camera, so you didn't even get to see it. I know what it does, but, but, to save that to use against you, you jerk. Well, I took way more damage than I wanted to in that fight. Yeah, doesn't matter. It matters on the inside, where all my injuries are. You still have over 100 life. You'll be fine. <laughs> but more importantly, we now have Estrella the Soldier as a companion. Yep. One of my favorite companions. This is where you differ. There is no it's either my favorite or my second favorite, depending on how I'm feeling about the DLC companion so at, at this moment. Got some new equipment. Oh, we can now start with better armor than nothing. Yeah, but I usually find that kind of useless compared to better weapons. Or, you know, food. Or gold. And we get a new platinum card. Ah, yes, the Griffith's Companion. I also know that how to break real gamuts over your knee. And our uh, warrior axe upgrades to the chieftain's axe. And we also unlock Goblin Town. Hooray! A new platinum encounter. Yeah, Goblin Town is my favorite platinum encounter. I can no longer go easy on you. The usurper will not do so, and I must test you sorely before you arrive at his gates. So next time we'll be doing strength and showing off all of our new platinum cards and encounters. <laughs> I want to thank Mateo360 and Tello for joining me in the Discord, as well as Kilza, Aid Escape, Axer, people whose names I'm forgetting for joining me in the Twitch chat. Until next time, take care. Later. Bye.